Patrol says it is common for intersections to be obscured this time of year, especially due to tall corn. KCRG TV 9's Rebecca Vaughn met with a driving instructor and shares how to approach these intersections safely. This is the intersection where a car accident over the weekend led to the death of an 80 year old. Authorities believe the nearby cornfield may have been obscuring the driver's view. Just after noon on Saturday, two cars collided at the intersection of 130th Street and Indiana Avenue. The intersection has no stop signs, and the tall corn stalks can make it difficult to see down the road. Anytime the corn is up tall, as you see behind me, it can pose a dangerous risk, and, and part of that is visibility and seeing. You know, we have a lot of rural roads in Iowa, and with that, you need to make sure you can see before pulling out. A local driving instructor says drivers need to be prepared to give up the right-of-way at these intersections. It is something we work on right right away uh, in, in the first part of the uh, driving experience where we talk a lot about of recognizing what's going on in front of the vehicle and being aware of our surroundings at all times. Drivers should yield to the right when coming to an uncontrolled intersection and never assume the other car will stop. When the line of sight is obstructed at any intersection, you may have to move forward. Uh, you may have to take your time. A study from Iowa State University in 2005 found even adding stop signs or yield signs to these rural intersections wouldn't necessarily improve safety, so it's important on all drivers in the state to approach them with caution, as it's not likely to change. Live in the studio, Rebecca Vaughn, KCRG, TV9 News. Now, your first